Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I have uh, very quickly summarized couple of uh, click view advanced functions, features and the components that we use and I've created this video based on the response from uh, or the suggestion from one of my uh, YouTube video follower Jodi and he suggested whether I can list down some of the advanced functions. He has also uh, asked to uh, list down some of them must known topic to uh, the QB developers like QB data model designer and all. So maybe I can work on that in future. But uh, here in this video, uh, I am listing down some of the advanced functions, which I think is advanced in nature and couple of features, uh, advanced features of quick view development. So here is a quick list about uh, the click view advanced functions and features where I have mentioned about the set analysis, especially with the set operators and variables. The AGGR function, uh, if, you, if you are aware, aware about the click development and have seen this one, uh, it's complex in nature and sometimes a little bit difficult in initially how to use it and what result it produces. But uh, in complex scenario, it, it, it becomes very handy to solve those conditions. Third thing is usage of num, num hash and date, date hash function. I'll encourage you to figure it out when to use in which scenario. Uh, the next is interval match function, uh, very uh, often used in complex scenarios where your data is interval based on some intervals and uh, uh, then you use interval match functions. I think I have not created any video on this, maybe in future I may create a video about explaining how to use interval match function, but that's quite an advanced function within quick view to use. Next is the understanding of dollar sign expansion, um, that is important because of uh, when you store your formulas in variable, uh, it really gives you the flexibility where you don't have to write those big formulas again and again. But understanding how dollar sign going to impact uh, when you are defining the formula within, within variables is important to understand. The next is pick functions and its combination with dimensionality. So to understand this, uh, uh, pick function is kind of a replica for if function or an std function but it, it becomes more powerful uh, in case of a pivot table and when used with the dimensionality function. Only function, again, uh, often not uh, used uh, uh, within your click view development, but uh, in complex scenarios or in certain kind of a scenarios, it, it becomes really handy uh, based on how it performs the operation on your given data. Again, is uh, the next one is nested functions where you have strings, formatting functions. Most of the time, we we do the nesting knowingly or unknowingly, but uh, understanding it how nested function works and all will going to give a lot of impact or the performance improvement of your application. The next one is the advanced search. So advanced search is something which you can see when you right click on any of the list box uh, where you need to do the selection and then define advanced searches. I have not created anything but that's a very useful uh, feature when you are creating any complex scenario uh, for your management to understand so that they don't have to do all that heavy lifting of selections and deselections to come to a scenario. You as an analyst is predefiningly doing that search making it as a question and they can select it very easily. Next is triggered with variables. There are a couple of triggers who receives the value from the variable or changing it uh, based on the variable value you are passing. So that's something I would encourage you to look out. I've created a couple of videos earlier uh, explaining about this concept. You may look upon that. Next is understanding the peak and previous function that we use it in the, uh, in the scripting. So uh, this is helpful in doing some complex operation on, the, on your given data because we need to move back and forth in our data to understand some some sort of operation so understanding when to use which function and uh, which one is resource incentive and which one is not is going to really help you a lot apply map function you can relate it with the uh, lookup function uh, or i'm sorry we look function of the excel and uh, but it is a little bit more advanced here in this case uh, where you can do a little bit more with this function so i'll encourage you to do a uh, uh, good understanding about how click view function behaves uh, with all its parameters. The next one is uh, input and slider component with variable. Very helpful uh, in doing the uh, what if analysis or 
uh, doing some kind of a scenario analysis, then understanding of these components with variable makes that makes us more knowledgeable uh, in that subject area. So that's a quick list uh, based on my experience and my understanding uh, about the QQ development, but there may be a couple of more advanced functions which you think is, is really good and advanced in nature. And I will then encourage you to list those down here in the comments so that everybody else can be benefited by your knowledge also. So that's quickly I wanted to summarize the advanced ClickView functions and features and their components. And I hope uh, you found this video useful and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic.